Deep Dive with David Stendhal, where we trade without ego, no emotion, no greed, no opinion. Before we begin tonight's video blog, please read over our trading disclaimer, and remember to trade smart and accept the reality that trading futures is risky. This presentation does not provide buy-sell recommendations, and our information is strictly provided for educational purposes only. As always, trade at your own risk and analysis. Hey, it's David Stenner with tonight's Deep Dive. It is December 26th, uh, 2017, and I thought I'd take a look at soybeans, and this for the short and the long term. The uh, ETF that you want to trade on the long side, which I highly recommend, is SOYB. So what we have is the trends are still to the downside. They still haven't recognized that there's potentially a base going on here in soybeans. Uh, and they too could be true and that the, the, there could be a reversal back to the downside. But for right now, all of the, the trends are pointed to the downside and so too are the technicals. But we've had um, a slow low in the elastic level uh, trigger here today and what I want to do is I want to sort of highlight a couple things here um, the other thing that I'll be showing you if we take a look at the deep dive and we look just at the the patterns and the way to come to this is signals and then patterns deep dive patterns um, and you'll see with soybeans SOYB the ETF is right here and we had a pop low just two trading days ago obviously with the holidays and everything that uh, this was uh, basically last week um, but uh, what we want to look at here is the the actual chart to uh, to soybeans and uh, this is a daily chart here on soybeans you can see that there's been a massive sell-off here um, over the course of a couple of weeks or so and that pop low that I was referring to in that pattern that occurred here on the let's see what day was it on the 21st that's when it actually triggered and since that time that the market uh, sell, sold off a little bit the next day and then we had the uh, the holiday and all of a sudden boom you know the market uh, rallied to the upside if we take a look at the market uh, when it comes to that elastic level you can see that there had been a couple that were triggering the slow low is this uh, this most recent uh, uh, cyan color and that's what's caused the market to do a little bit of an about phase. What I want to show you is that it stopped. The, these lows they stopped kind of at an awkward point where the the market uh, had some support to the market here with this six which is kind of weak, very weak uh, and we had another one here at eight. Both of uh, these are what I would term as support levels, but they're weak support levels because their numbers are not high, not, not like a 33 or a 30 or a 50 or a 49. You can see at the end of those bars. So the fact that the market has stopped and done a little bit of an about face uh, rallying to the upside without really finding true, true strong support is a little bit worrisome. But longer term, I think that you'll see that uh, this is still a good investment. Uh, difference between an investment and a trade I realize uh, but I'm still looking at this as a short-term trade with the the strength that we saw here uh, with today's action and that pop low that that occurred but I'm a little worrisome you know, a little uh, frightened here with the uh, the fact that it occurred with um, some support to the market but just not super strong support to the market if we take a look at the um, the weeklies if I can find that particular chart uh, these being weekly bars here for for soybeans you can see that although this is well below the market where the market is right now you can see that there's really strong support uh, both here with a 25 a 50 a 32 and when we go across the uh, uh, with the these levels here you'll see that there's massive amount of support to the market so even if the market should uh, fall if you're viewing this as a, as an investment there's still a tremendous amount of support to the market and if we can base here which we're hoping here on the short-term basis uh, that we can base here and start to rally you can see that we're very far away from uh, these uh, these upper levels where the resistance comes from so we'll see what does take place uh, when we take a look at uh, soybeans on a daily bar basis I'll point this out you see this 30 right over here uh, if we scroll that one across this 30 right here joined here with this 13 they're they're close enough that uh, it is a, a support level or in this case because it's 
it's heading up against it. It's more of a resistance level. But these two combined together and they triggered and looked at this particular high. So we're at a point right now where the market had come down it, it's rallied. It's rallied in and around the holidays. You know, there's not as much volume, uh, not as much liquidity to the market. So you have to kind of look at this in, in, through with a with a grain of salt. Uh, but it is attempting to base here. Uh, we had that. Um, the, uh, the elastic level pivots that have occurred. We had the pop bottom that occurred the other day. I showed you with that with the pattern and we're going to see where the market really wants to to rally here. Uh, as of right now the the training systems are actually long the market and uh, but they're 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 long with uh, just one particular system so it's not like they're very very strong. If we take a look at the uh, go back to the uh, website and we pull up soybeans an, another kind of weird scenario that that's taken place here. Uh, what we have here is a, a, a five, a ten, and a fifteen-year seasonal chart. The blue represents the the five-year, and the uh, the red and this greenish uh, color here represent uh, the ten and fifteen-year. And you can see that there's a difference where the market has sold off and continues to sell off uh, on, in general terms, especially towards the tail end of the year here in the five year cycle. But the uh, the five, excuse me, the 10 and the 15 year, uh, they rally towards the end of the year. And then at the very, very end, they kind of go sideways. But no matter how you look at this, if we come back to January, uh, we can see the market uh, has a little bit of a bounce. Uh, the market then goes sideways, and then it has a bit of a rally, and then it rallies all the way up in all three of these time frames into July. Long-term investment, I realize. But uh, for those of you that are looking for a little diversification, you're looking for an ETF to uh, invest in, um, taking advantage of that sell-off that we had going into last week and now we're showing some signs of some strength. Uh, not a bad time to put into uh, uh, maybe an initial investment here realizing that you're not going to put all of the investment in there. You're going to add to the position over time based upon uh, the potential for the market to sell off a little bit towards the tail end of the year with the uh, the five year seasonals, or as a minimum, uh, we can always get into more of a position the early part of uh, January. But because the the market did have that pop bottom, we had the the slow low elastic level uh, based upon the strength that we saw today. Uh, I think that you're going to see. A little bit of uh, retracement, a little sideways action, and then towards the tail end of the year, or I should say at least into the beginning of next year, uh, that that's when we'll start to see uh, some, some real strength to the market. But on a short-term basis, our systems are actually long the market, um, and we'll see if the market is able to uh, break through this resistance level that I've been pointing to here, and that number is 964 and 5 eighths. Uh, the other one that I mentioned earlier is at 960 and 7 eighths. So it's those those levels that uh, we need to sort of break through. And this is a market that can have some very strong uh, surges. You can see through here that, uh, that the market really rallied and never looked back. And there's the potential that if we can break these uh, support levels, uh, or actually I should say these resistance levels here, that uh, the market could really have uh, some, some, some legitimate strength here. So that combined with uh, the breakage of the, the resistance levels, if that's what's going to happen, and the, the fact that we had the elastic level um, pivot, the, the slow low, and we had the uh, the pop bottom from the other day. It, it's telling me that uh, I'm feeling good with the, the long position, but not so good that I'm going to be uh, looking for the systems to, to pile in with a lot of different trades. We'll see how things kind of work out here because the systems are driving here, but I feel comfortable being long, but not being uh, aggressively long, I guess is the best way to phrase it. So let's see uh, how things kind of play out here, and uh, we'll take a look at another market tomorrow. Thanks for watching.